All right, so find that comfortable position. And whatever you guys have going on tonight, whatever is keeping your mind busy this evening, important, I know. So many things important. But for the moment, for now, there's nothing important except for you. So focus on you. Start to breathe a little deeper. So you can fill your lungs, expand your ribs. Take the mind. Focus on the breath. And any time you catch yourself thinking about something else, come back. Come back here. Come back to you. And then let the eyes open and start to roll up the shoulders and move anyway. Good leg. So let's start off tonight with our neck. So let's bring fingertips out and let's bring the right ear towards the right shoulder and the chin slightly down. And take deep, deep breaths. And then let's bring the head up. And let's bring the left ear towards the left shoulder, slightly down. All right, let's come up. So let's come to our tabletop position. Let's start with the cat and cows. So whenever you're ready, now you can sit if you ever need to sit. The cat and cows, you certainly can. So exhaling on the back rounds, and when you inhale, belly sinks. Rounding. Really feel this. Really exaggerate those movements. And then let's take one more time each direction. back to neutral tabletop position. So right ear and right hip towards each other. So left side of the body. And then left ear and left hip still on the right side of the body. And then let's go back and forth. So on one way. One more time, each direction. And whenever you're done, back to neutral. So this next one, if, if it does not work well for you, you're gonna sit and bring your arm across and then just turn and take a twist. 
So it's threading the needle. So let's bring the left hand slightly in. Right arm out, and we're gonna come down onto your cheek, your ear, your shoulder. And then if your head is down, your shoulder's down, and reach the other arm up and behind your back. And whenever you're ready, let's come up to our down dog. So coming up, curl the toes under, pressing up. You want? Moving your legs. If you want, you've got your straight legs. Pushing in a little harder with your hands. Maybe you would like to Bring one leg up at a time. Up to you, however you would like this. All right, so let's take this and just walk our feet. There's the hand. Try to bring our weight into your toes. And then let's inhale and reach out. Reach up. Bring the palms together. And hands to hearts. All right, well, let's do some standing postures. We are going to do triangle tonight. Um, so if you like a block for triangle, I do. Put your block over by your left, left leg, if you do. Not necessary. I like it. All right, so let's start with our mountain pose. Big toes together. Let's bring our hands to heart. So let's start to shift our weight back into our heels. And we're going to do chair pose. I know we did chair pose the other night. Let's do it again. So we're going to just sit back into the heels. You can bend a little bit, you can bend a lot, you just don't want to push your knees over your toes. And then maybe bring your arms out. They can be here if you want. Deep breath. All right, let's in now. Just reach the arms up towards the sky. Look up if you want, maybe you slip back then. And then let's exhale and sweep just the arms down and back. Interlace your fingers and try, if you can, to bring the palms together. Open up the shoulders, the chest. Put your chin down if you want, so back of your neck. Maybe lift 
Now let's see if you can keep the hands together. If not, it's okay to release your hands. But let's fold forward. Try to reach the arms up. This is that. So leaning in towards your toes. All right, let's let the arms come down. And maybe touch the mat for a moment and lean in towards your toes. Just get up. So now let's take our knees and bend them a little bit. And if your hands are touching, move yourself up so that your hands do not touch. I'm going to turn to make it easier to see. So hands are not touching. Let's make these little circles. Really good for your shoulder. Arms are very heavy. Go the other direction. All right, let's hold it here. Let's inhale, reach out, reach up, bring those palms together. Hands to heart. And let's take our right foot back for triangle. So try to go as big, make as much room between your feet as possible. Straight legs, so we're moving right from the hip crease wherever your leg and your torso meet up. So open your arms, move towards the front. Coming down, now if you want your block, maybe not. Reach up, look up if you want. Take a deep breath, try to lift up this kneecap. Side. I think it's a little bit easier for you guys to see, but you don't need to turn to the other side and hold there. All right, so let's bring our hands to heart again. Let's do this sequence again. So bring your weight into your heels. Let's bend, sit down, maybe a little, maybe a lot. Raise your arms out. The only thing you don't want to do is go in front of the toes with the knees. And 
come up so that your hands are not touching the mat. You're dangling in the air. They're really heavy, those arms. And then let's go the other way. All right, let's in now. Let's come up. Reach out. Reach out. And let's take our left foot back. So try to get a lot of space between the legs. Moving from your hip crease, reach your arms out. Come forward. Come down. I like to use the block. Look up if you want to. Try to lift up the knee back. Bend. It's going to be bridge on the back. You guys who want to do your down dog and your plank and all that, go ahead. And have your block where you can reach it. So take your time. I'm going to take my time here. So we're eventually going to lay down on the back. And your block is where you can reach it for after bridge. Ooh, so when you're there, put our feet to the mat. Your feet are about hip width apart. They're as close as you could do without using your hands. Pop her down. When you're ready, exhale, push into the feet and then tucking the shoulders under. Thighs roll towards each other. If you want, drop those heels. Or maybe it's your pillow. 
up. So let's pick up this. Slide the block underneath your tailbone. And then our heels are going to come out. Toes are straight up. And you should feel it in right here, your hip flexor. So if you're sitting a lot, driving in your car a lot, this gets so tight. Maybe all that walking you guys are doing. It's good stuff, but hip flexors get tight. of the feet, a little more hip flexor as well. Bottoms of the feet together. Now they're, the feet are as close as you could do without the slouch. Close as you can do and still sit tall. And then let's exhale and fold forward and possibly pressing the elbows into the legs. So try to avoid this where you're all sort of hollowed out in here. And maybe you open your feet like you would open a book. So let's bring a little more hamstring into this. So let's bring our feet further away, still together. Inhale tall, fold forward, and maybe you're going to just rest your hands somewhere on your legs or your feet. Maybe you're going to come on your knee. Just do a nice deep breath. Uh -huh. 
And let's take the legs all the way down. So let's take forward fold if you want to use your strap. Worse, go ahead and do that. So let's inhale nice and tall again. If you find that you're sitting like this and you can't seem to get out of this, elevate yourself, sit up on something. Inhale tall, exhale, folding forward. Don't worry if you don't reach your toes. You know, just go as far as you can. And if you want the strap, go ahead and pull into the strap. or whatever you can do, just don't force anything. Other leg, just hangs out. And then let's bring our hands back. So you want to start to lean back, you want to start to feel it in here. If your knee comes up, you went too far. So maybe you're going to come here, you're going to feel it. Maybe you need to come on one elbow or even both. Or even further. If you're tight, you're going to be up here. And so just right in here. It's deep breath. under, bend, and then maybe recross your hands, relax your shoulders. And let's inhale, elbows go up. So let them come down, just really feel this. Shoulders back. Thank you. 
looking at. It's like a figure eight elbow. Sideways figure eight. All right, and then let's let the arms come down. Roll out and shoulder. And let's take the other arm out. Come across. This one under. Bend, possibly recrossing. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, elbows up. Elbow down. Good, heel lift. And let's make that sideways figure eight.
Thank you guys for signing up. 